Come on. Go for the bomb. No, I don't want to use a right shield. Come on, you can do it. Go for the bomb. You can do it. Come on. Come on. Get it's right there. It's right there. We've lost that Ooh. <laughs> Fail. That guy didn't know what he was doing. This one apparently did. And there's a good snipe. And it wasn't by me. Okay. Um, hello. If you do not know who I am, my name is Kyle. And, um, I play lots of Call of Duty. Um, uh, today I am using uh, a blinged out M16 with a red dot and silencer. And if you didn't know, I am using Bling Pro. Kind of obvious. Um, stopping Power, Ninja Pro, and a blinged out Spaz 12 with a red dot and silencer, I believe. And I'm using claymores and a stun grenade and stun grenades. Okay, um, in this video I am going to be mostly talking about the uh, M16 red dot sights and uh, holographic sights. A self debate I by my own opinion saying which one's better. Um, let's start off with talking about the M16. Um, the M16, I would probably say, is the better burst fire gun in this game. Definitely, it would definitely was in Call of Duty 4. Uh, you don't need an you don't have to be an idiot to realize that that it was uh, definitely and most likely the best weapon in that game. Um, in Call of Duty 4, it was basically the M16 and whatever forget what the name of the first sniper rifle is. I know it's the, the second one's R700. I just can't remember the name of the other one. Um, and um, I'm actually going to talk about really quick uh, the FAMAS versus the M16. Uh, the FAM they both do have their ups and downs. The FAMAS uh, strong point is that it has... Ooh, is an epic fail right there. The FAMAS' strong point is that it has a a very good or a very fast rate of fire, while the M16 has a slow, um, I'm not going to say slow, but slower rate of fire. Uh, the FAMAS is downside to, uh, its downside is the fact that it does less damage uh, bullet per bullet. So it takes, if you're going to miss a full burst into a person, uh, it's most likely, you're most likely going to have, uh, you probably can get the second burst out and possibly kill the person, because it shoots very fast. But, um, if you don't get all three bullets into it, the person is probably not going to kill them, unless it's in their head, which it would always kill them. Uh, the M16, uh, it makes up for, have you know, in, it makes up for a lot of power that it has. The M16 is, uh, the powerhouse of, uh, this game, or probably one of the powerhouses of this game when it comes to, uh, bullet damage. Um, M16 has, does have a slower rate of fire. So, the only problem that it would have is you may not be able to get the full burst out if somebody's using, like, an, I don't know, some random submachine gun or something like that. But, um, uh, that's basically those are the only differences besides the iron sights, which is obviously a difference between the guns. Uh, the iron sights. For I'd have to say is actually another strong point of the FAMAS. Uh, personally, I am a fan of the M16. I'm just saying. Um, okay, enough about the M16 and the FAMAS. Let's get to uh, the iron sights of or the sights of Modern Warfare 2. Uh, the red dot sight, which I believe is the second attachment that you get. For 25 kills, I believe. Um, 
is the set uh, I'd have to say is better for than the holographic site for multiple reasons uh, this is a personal preference I'm not saying you shouldn't go out and try the holographic site though just keep that in mind as I'm talking um, the holographic site or the red dot site sorry the red dot site um, I just seem to like it better because it takes up less room on your actual screen so if it's like you're trying to kill somebody from long range uh, you're not gonna have any problems uh, like there's not gonna be like a really wide gap of just of your site there just like blocking part of what you're trying to see or something like that is probably I'd have to say is the only problem with the holographic site I mean the yeah the hol yeah the holographic site um other than um it takes up less room I'd have to say that the red dot site still is better just cause that one little thing could mean uh... whether you get AC-130 or not or a Harrier Strike or even a Duke maybe but um... uh... enough about okay let's talk about now the uh... holographic site the holographic site um... I don't really like it it's mostly a personal preference on that on that though um, why I don't like it it's just I think it's ugly don't hate don't spam hate comments about this I do think it's ugly um, I don't really like it or I just don't like the actual thing itself just in general even um, a good thing I have heard about it though which I'm not sure if it's true or not is that it has a slight auto aim to it um, the auto aim I am not sure if it is actually true or not but uh, that's just something if anybody could test uh, or I've ever noticed uh, please leave a comment uh, about that okay and uh, there you go a flawless game of search and destroy of 7 and 0 um, with one loss, which being the only one I wasn't there. Uh, Kyle out.